Hi, I'm Elena Palgon, a member of the Feely Mastermind, and it's my pleasure to welcome Susan Rockefeller, who's an award-winning documentary filmmaker, artist, and conservationist. She is the founder of Musings, which can be found at www.musingsmag.com. It's a digital magazine that curates ideas and inspiration for a better world. A long-standing activist and philanthropist, Susan sits on the boards of Oceana, Stone Barn Center for Food and Agriculture, We Are Family Foundation, Asian Cultural Council, Land and Garden Preserve, and the David Rockefeller Fund. She is a member of the Council of Foreign Relations, a mission board member of Imagine, and an advisor to Food System 6, Made Safe, and Ohana & Co. In her film work, Susan is principal of Louverture Films and a member of the Film Committee for the Museum of Modern Art and the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In her spare time, Susan is an encaustic painter and a beekeeper in the Hudson Valley. So it is really an honor to join all of you for International Women's Day, a day that has been celebrated around the globe since 1911, recognizing the importance and the impact of women coming together. All of us here today are working to improve the quality of our lives, the power of connection, community, and activism. And that is the goal, isn't it? We need women across age, race, and cultures to work together and celebrate our legacy of International Women's Day. And as the nurturers of both family and this earth, we cultivate compassion, dignity, inclusion, and peace in a rippling effect that enhances and betters the lives of others. In this time of the pandemic, we are reminded of the invisible tapestry that connects all of us and the responsibility that we have for each other. Nature has been telling us throughout history that we are inextricably bound to each other and there is no better time to think about our relationship to nature, the consequences of what we buy and what we eat and what we wear in the context of what is best for ourselves, for others and the planet. And now there is hope, particularly in the form of our newly elected president, Joe Biden, and Vice President Kamala Harris, who needs no introduction, but on this day, it simply needs to be restated, the first female, first black, and first Asian American US Vice President. And also to celebrate Ngozi Okonjo Ovela, the first woman and first African to head the World Trade Organization. So I would just like to applaud these women and others who have helped pave the way for more freedom for and representation of women everywhere. So we can all applaud. I'm just thrilled about what's going on for women around the world in terms of leadership. So now for a little background on me. For my entire life, I have been connected to nature and have spent a great deal of time dedicated to protecting it. Uh, as Jacqueline and Summer mentioned, I'm an active board member of Oceana, working to save the oceans, bring back its bounty, and help feed the world. I'm also an active board member at Stone Barn Center for Food and Agriculture, where we research best practices in organic farming, healthy soils, and the deliciousness of wholesome cooking. I have also been a visual artist all my life and believe in the power of art to transform ourselves in the world. I'm a board member of Asian Cultural Council, ACC, which support artists throughout the US and Asia with cultural exchange and works to build bridges of mutual understanding. So one priority in my life is to have women in my ecosystem, both in friendship and in business. And why? It's because women, as we know, possess dynamic energy and innate wisdom. As Madeleine Albright once said, there is a special place in hell for women who do not help other women. So on board nominating committees, I put forth women colleagues, uplifting them to positions of power and infiltrating the culture of women's wisdom into our future. At this time in my life, I asked myself, how can I and how can we be role models for generations to come? What is the legacy that we want to leave? Life is precious, and I believe we are only as strong as the weakest link in our chain. Together, together, we can change the world. 
With Musings, which is my digital newsletter, we profile leaders in responsible innovation, and we partner with exceptional entrepreneurs, many of whom are women. And they are solving problems by harnessing the power of business and the power of purpose to make a difference. There has never been a more urgent time for bold action in all spheres, whether business, education, health, social justice, or environmental sustainability. Choosing to engage together, not to retreat, is what's so essential right now. So a few thoughts I would like to share. Inevitably, when working tirelessly to accomplish your goals comes the burning of the candle at both ends. If you're young or blessed with good genes, you can tap into limitless energy and possibilities. You can be unstoppable in your desire to immerse yourself in doing what you love. But just make sure to make time for self-care. Take time for that bath, for eating well and getting rest. Take time for those with, that you love. And that will create a foundation for longevity and vitality in your journey. My mantra, along with my husband's, is to protect what is precious. And we have three pillars to help us protect what we love. Our first pillar is family, which is based on the core precepts such as honoring your mother and father and having gratitude for the ancestors before you. It's also a concept that extends to friends and community to be both present and kind in those relationships and to all those in our global family. Kindness is a great virtue and helps make the world a gentler place by acknowledging that we are all human and suffering in some way. Our second pillar is art. Look for it in your daily life. It is everywhere. Art bridges culture and illuminates universal truths. It makes us grow and offers us an amazing vehicle through which to observe and learn visually and express our emotions. And finally, the third pillar is nature, because if our environment isn't healthy, we won't be either. So do something to sustain our precious earth. Join an NGO, support your local farmers, volunteer and help others, vote for politicians who believe in science and climate change, and hold corporations and governments responsible for now and for future generations. Most of you, I believe, already live your life within the context of protecting what is precious. So continue doing what you're doing, following your heart and honoring the preciousness of time. Because to rise to the challenges before you, you need to put time into your passions, your family, your friends, and you need to trust your intuition and follow your mission, not the market. And remember that it is the women who will be your allies. And most importantly, take time to love. It is the most powerful force in our lives. As I've gotten older, I understand the value of being in the right relationship with ourselves and all living things. How can we most effectively and most joyfully navigate to that place of being aligned? I believe our greatest assets manifest in the power of our thoughts, a positive disposition, and developing our ability to be creative and adaptable to change. This past year, we have all been tested in such a profound way. And in spite of the suffering, there has been an astounding illumination of what really counts and how our community our tribe of amazing women can find our mission, use our talents, and merge our purpose and our passion. International Women's Day is a day to celebrate the power of women and women's contributions to a more inclusive world. My hope is that women leaders will support and uplift women's voices and skills and choose female colleagues to lead the way into a future that will embrace a trio of feminine ideals of compassion, care, and community. We need more than ever to celebrate women, elevate women, and challenge women to be the change that we seek to see in the world. So today and every day, I celebrate you all. Thank you, thank you, Summer. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Feely community. Thank you all for your presence today. <laughs>